I'm gonna get purple this time. It's kind of festive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I took up this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and all the way back there. We're gonna readjust. Oh my gosh, it felt like my teeth were on fire because they were like sanding down all the cement, you know? So like there's smoke coming up. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh. Hopefully they'll fix this. Hook. That's what we're doing right now. What? Come on. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I got purple this time. And they changed it a lot. So I have um, a box on my left and my right side. And then um, they're going to correct my overbite. So I do have slightly, which I think is interesting because like, anyway, so I got that right there, that right there, he the nose again. and they adjusted several brackets and they also, um, they had to replace this one because for some reason, um, just like a few days ago, I was putting my rubber bands on and this hook right here was like, <laughs> jettison out like this so it was like stabbing my my lip I was like what the heck and it was just random like a couple days ago and so I was like okay well can we adjust this and so he goes to like bend it towards my um towards my gums and it goes snap I'm like no <laughs> I was almost done in the chair and they had to completely replace that bracket luckily it happened at the doctor's office and not at home so I was grateful for that <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so I got purple because got it's definitely and he got a balloon um I got purple this time because um I like purple and uh it's festive it's definitely like kind of a Christmassy slash like Valentine's Day -y maybe thing so there's purple and uh yeah I kind of like the purple I like the blue too but I wanted to change it up a little bit, so that's what we have so far. Um, I did take some um, pregnancy safe pain meds before, so they when they took this one off, ow, gosh, got you got a balloon. So they, they took several off, and I'm like, oh my gosh, owie, but we're okay now. And I can definitely tell that it's a lot tighter now. Um, ex same wires, so no final wires yet. They're thinking that um, once they do... Once they have that, all those brackets adjusted, hopefully my teeth will be in a better place for my final wires. Um, my next appointment will probably be sometime mid-January. So that'll be um, my last appointment before baby comes. Yay! So that's exciting. <coughs> um, I, I'm, I thought I was gonna get final wires today, but I'm not, so. Same wires still, just a little adjusting here and there. Um, different configuration of rubber bands. Um, I had actually somebody comment um, and request I uh, show you how I put these on. Honestly, it's nothing fancy, um, <clears throat> but I can show you in a later clip. So right now I gotta run to Costco and get some food and uh, and then go eat yogurt for the rest of the day. <laughs> cause I am pretty sure, cause every time they take brackets off, my, my teeth feel really sore. So anyway, I'm gonna go grocery shop. And um, I will update you in the next couple of weeks. So we'll see you then. Okay, so we are coming up on the end of my 15th month of treatment. And this is what my teeth look like right now.
And here is the top. And the bottom. And uh, I don't have my rubber bands in because I'm going to show you how I put them in. <laughs> um, so before I put these in, um, I make sure to floss my teeth really, really, really well. And by doing that, um, I use a uh, water pick. And I find that is the least painful and the most effective. And um, if you don't know what a water pick is, I will leave a link down here somewhere of the water pick similar to what I use. Basically what, what it does is it uses pressure to um, concentrate water into in between your teeth. And it literally like flushes out all the stuff in your teeth. So it's very effective. And it's actually... Um, more effective than flossing. So even, honestly, even after I'm done with my braces treatment, I might just continue using the water pick because it's just that good. So, so I use my water pick first and then I use my electric toothbrush. Um, I got mine from Costco. I think it's a Sony one. It's got a round brush, so round bristles and, um, I just go around 30 seconds for each quadrant. So it's it, it has a timer on it, which is really cool. So 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So it's a two two minutes of straight straight up <laughs> teeth brushing. So that's where I am right now. And the toothpaste that I use is a non-whitening toothpaste. Sometimes I use um, Colgate and other times I just use what I can find. I like Colgate the best um, just because it tastes the best but I, I just been avoid I've been avoiding all whitening toothpaste because I don't want so when, by the time I'm done with my treatment I don't want these little brackets so the tooth underneath the bracket the little square won't have um any whitening so if I end up using whitening toothpaste I'll have like yellow squares on my teeth I'm like nah I don't want to do that <laughs> so um every once in a while very very rarely I'll use whitening toothpaste just just in case like what if I run out of the non-whitening so there have been occasions where I've used whitening toothpaste but only because I ran out of the other stuff so uh, I've uh, water picked so flossed my teeth and I brush my teeth. So those are the two things I do beforehand. And then um, I use these Fox Elastics. They are, let's see if it says on here how thick they are. Sometimes it says and sometimes it doesn't. So they are a quarter of an inch. And um, so it looks like on the back. Yeah, so I get these from my orthodontic uh, office. <clears throat> Little foxes. So, and I need four rubber bands. So I'm going to take out two at a time. So I can kind of show you how it works. So, um, when they were putting on my new configuration, um, they actually did the box first and then the crossover. And, uh... Um, the person that was doing it was like, you know what, next time you change these, do the, do the diagonal one first and then the box. That way it doesn't, you know, it doesn't actually slide off and snap you. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to try <laughs> to show you how I put these on. They're a little awkward. Um, the squares, like putting the squares in the back are the, probably the hardest part, but I usually take, so it looks like little tiny rubber bands about that thick hopefully you can see that and so for my <clears throat> I think my left side is a little bit easier because I'm using my right hand so because I'm doing it all the way back here you can okay so I have hooks on all four teeth back here and then I'm using this hook okay so I'm just going to show you how I do the first one 
So there's a hook right here. I hook it onto there first. And then I drag it to there. See that hook? So that's the first one. Let me grab another one. And now we're gonna do the, the box. So here, 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 and here. And I'm gonna start on the top and grab these two first, like that. And then I'm gonna grab the bottoms, like that. And when I did this the first time, owie, I snapped my cheek. I was like, ah! <laughs> but I'm, I've had a lot of practice now, so that's what it's supposed to look like. And then um, we're gonna do the other side. Okay, so now, now we got this side done. Now we get to do the other side. The other side is a little bit different because I am working right on right, so it's not diagonal. So this is a little bit trickier for me. So I like to start up here this time and go down here like that. And again, I've had a lot of practice. This took me a while to kind of get. Okay, so then I got one more to put on. I start on the top again. Like that. And like that. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's how I put my rubber bands on. I don't use any special gadgets. I know some people have those little like hooky thingies. I'm like, meh, forget it. I'll just <laughs> use my finger. So that's how I put my rubber bands in. And uh, that's what my teeth look like right now with my rubber bands in. I honestly, not a lot of changes. The only changes I see is down here. Like, do you see that gap right there? That's kind of new. I'm wondering if they're, because they've got a, I don't know what they call it, but they got like a stopper right here. It's like a stop. And I'm wondering why, see how one's higher than the other one? I'm wondering if, I don't know if they're trying to bring these down or these up. I'm not quite sure. Because it's really hard to tell at this point. These two front teeth are stubborn. This one, I'm sure this one needs to come back. This way. This needs to come back. So, my mouth was sore for, an, for a week. Easy. When they put, took all those little brackets off. Put them, re, you know, readjusted everything. And then added these rubber bands. I was like, oh, I'm sore. So, I, I was um, living off of yogurt and oatmeal and other things that are soft even bread oh I couldn't even I couldn't even chew bread that's how sore my mouth was but yep that's what my mouth looks like right now um my next appointment is in January so um that'll be fun <laughs> it'll be my last appointment before this baby comes so anyway if you um if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. Um, I do vlogs like this and I uh, do embroidery. So if you're interested in doing embroidery, uh, check out my channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it for this month. <laughs> it's been a busy month. Let me tell you what. Um, I never thought that I would have braces and be pregnant and be building our house. <laughs> so it's like, bam, bam, bam. Um, as far as sequence goes, uh, baby's gonna come first. So sh she's gonna come first uh, in February. And then um, I'm gonna predict that my braces will come off before our house is done. So originally our group set a goal. If you're not, if you haven't been following along, um, I am in a program. I'll link the, I'll put the link down here so you kind of have an understanding of what the program is. There's a diff there's, there's a similar program in most states, but, um, 
our our group originally made a goal to finish by the end of March and the winter here oh my gosh okay so just in this past week we've had over let me see 12 inches of snowfall within the week and that's including like okay one day it'll snow it'll snow like six inches or five inches and then three days later it'll snow another seven or something like that. that's basically what's happened we've had two snowstorms in the last week alone so literally we're just going out into the lots we're just going out there and shoveling snow <laughs> that's basically what we've been doing so we're a little bit behind on that front because the snow has really slowed everything down so I plan to film more um, once we start actually working on our house because we've got 10 of them to work on. And ours is in the line is like number seven. So, um, but the good news, um, our lumber dropped yesterday. Yay! Our lumber dropped yesterday for our lot and our neighbor's lot. So um, hopefully we'll be starting green plate on, um, on our lot and I'll hopefully be able to like film a little bit. It's just hard for me to go out there because I am 30, what, four weeks pregnant. So it's been hard for me. But yesterday I went out there and I shoveled snow for three hours. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> it's actually really good for my hips because um, sitting for too long is actually worse than me moving too much, if that makes sense. I'm getting to that point where I have to actually stand up more and like move around more so that my hips don't hurt. Um, I had people who were like, oh my gosh, you're too pregnant to be outside. You're too pregnant to be shoveling snow. I'm like, honestly, it wasn't too bad. You know, it has to be done. And I kind of want to be out of the house. <laughs> I've been stuck in the house for like three weeks. <laughs> Whether I'm sick or kids are sick or, you know, just life happens. And I, I had to stay home. And um, my husband's been really great about picking up the slack. Um, I told him, thank you so much. You're so great. <laughs> So, but that's what's happening now. And uh, next week, um, I am not quite sure what I'm going to post next week. Um, I've got a bunch of tutorials uh, that I want to post. But since next week is Christmas, I may or may not post anything. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. So, all right. Well, I'm going to end the video now. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <music>